morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for uh, Monday the 31st of January 2022. Quick look at yesterday's race, racing results then. So for Sunday the 30th, uh, we were at Fontwell in National Hunt at 120. We're having to go at two horses in this race. Uh, light him up Nigel, uh, which uh, came fourth at 16 to 1. We actually got 29 to 1 on the exchanges on that. Uh, and we've given it a good go. Uh, and we also had uh, the eventual winner, number three, uh, not long till May, uh, which came in at the SP of 15 to 8. We got 2 to 1. And we were using that horse to sort of lever into, into a potential big win on uh, Light Em Up Nigel. And unfortunately that didn't happen. But, uh, but nevertheless, we made a small profit on that race and we had the potential to uh, have a very good day. So uh, it worked out reasonably well for us. So we're about 45 units in profit uh, overall, give or take. Uh, on the account. So uh, uh, we'll stop it there and write up today's racing, so don't go away. Right, we're back with written up today's racing. Um, Monday the 31st of the 1st then. Uh, no filter one, which is our structural filter. We do have an alternate Wolverhampton this evening on the all-weather at 6 o'clock. It's a selling handicap, uh, class 5, uh, four-year-old plus, uh, 0.75, five furlongs, 21 yards. Uh, we're looking at number two, Zappa Cass. Uh, it's, a, it's a 12 year old, sorry, it's a nine year old. Uh, which is uh, getting on a bit, but uh, this is a sprint, uh, and uh, and this horse. If, you, if we've looked at this horse in depth, um, last two runs, then previously ran at ran at uh, Southwell uh, on six furlongs, uh, where the winner was Patsy Fagan. Uh, decent enough race, but the key race here is this one here, the tenth, the tenth of the first, tenth uh, of January. Uh, it ran at Wolverhampton on the weather. <coughs> Excuse me, five furlongs. One by oh it is oh it oh is it uh, that's a very good race um, that's miles ahead of anything in the race as far as we can see and it came uh, about third I think in that race uh, and ran pretty credi credibly uh, if I could say it uh, uh, with the other horses so uh, so that's the key really is if you have a look at the tenth of the first at Wolverhampton uh, run by oh is it uh, that's a very good race uh, which. Uh, which is head and shoulders above the competition, really. So, so I'm, I'm, we're assuming that they're going to go for it today, uh, and uh, and we're looking at we've got about a uh, quarter of a unit on at the moment. It's about three one three to one seven to two at the moment. Um, it depends on how it goes as to what we do with it. But anyway, that's that's where we are. Uh, so I hope that was useful. Uh, see you again tomorrow for the results review and some further bets. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.